Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Star Wars figure review. We've got Vintage Collection Mandalorian Super Commando VC243. This is an awesome, awesome looking figure. Um, today we'll take a look at the back. We'll take a look at the back of this one. <laughs> I did pick up two of these. I wanted two to sort of be in behind the captain who isn't pitched here. I thought that was him, but it's not. Um, yeah, because I've got the captain. I've reviewed the captain. Um, yeah, haven't got Anakin yet. I will pick him up because I really like the new updated version of that figure. I think it looks really nice. It's one I've been calling for on a vintage card for a lot of years. Uh, 332nd, I'm going to pass just because Hasbro haven't fixed the helmet issue out yet. Boba, Boba Fett Morak, not sure how that's coming out because um, I haven't seen it with any of the other figures in this wave. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, but Reva, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Vader, and Din Djarin have all been reviewed. So go back and check them out if you haven't already. And yeah, like I said, bought two of them. So I'm gonna save one aside for afterwards and we're gonna crack this one open straight away. We'll take a look at the card art for a little bit. That's a nice image there of the uh, trooper. It looks good. I'd still like to get another one of the airborne Death Watch Troopers, you know, two aside. Um, and eventually when I can get into storage and get my mole, these two will, you know, look really nice behind mole. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. All the junk. So yeah, coming with the same weapons as the other Mandalorians that have sort of come out in this sort of same period. Sticky tape is very sticky. Nice and tight, and those weapons don't fall out. Nice side. So yeah, two blaster pistols. That will fit in the holsters of the figure, which is nice. So yeah, pretty much just a repaint of the uh, Death Watch Airborne Mandalorian Trooper. Um, well, you know, they're both repaints of each other, basically. But yeah, this one's looking really, really nice. Does come with the sort of longer Mandalorian blaster rifle. So it's cool, you've got a, you know, a couple of options for how you're gonna arm these guys up if you're gonna arm your build. But yeah, I love the I love the mark on the for on the forehead and on the helmet, I reckon it looks great. The sort of scratched away at the red armor it looks nice. You know, signifying the allegiance to Maul as leader of Mandalore throughout that period of the end of the Clone Wars. Jetpack is removable. And yeah, I think a uh, Gar Saxon would be an absolutely amazing counterpart for these figures. But we'll see. We've got Bo Katan. Uh, you tweak that release and give her a bit of a Clone Wars aesthetic, a little bit more. You know, just a, probably not a lot of difference, to be honest, um, between her appearance in Clone Wars Mandalorian, you know, just with the helmeted version. And even then, probably not a lot of difference either. So you could certainly get another Bo-Katan to lead the Death Watch. And then have Darth Maul or Gar Saxon and Gar Saxon leading these guys. And I'd be very tempted to pick some more of these up. But for the moment, I'm happy with two and their leader. I think that's not bad. Um, said even in the Black Series line, we've been very spoiled for Mandalorians in these last couple of years. We've had a lot of them. So why not more? <laughs> There's something very, very striking about that red. I think it looks great. Really, really nice. It does have the same sort of head joint. It's, uh, you know, just the, looks like there's just the neck sort of goes up in there. There's no head under it or anything. Has all the articulation you want in a three and three quarter inch figure, which is really nice. You know, I do, Advice to, if you get a tight, tight joint, uh, the plastic doesn't seem as strong over the last few years as it has been in the past, but 
I don't know, these are, these are feeling all right. They're feeling like nice, sturdy figures. I know some of the joints and some of the figures in the last couple of years uh, really haven't felt that great. Um, this one's okay, but yeah, like I've said many times, you get a stiff joint, you know, it's whether it's an elbow or a knee or a wrist, you know, just heat it up with a hairdryer, um, run it under some warm water, some hot water, don't burn yourself, and then uh, you can sort of get them to move a little bit more, but... Yeah, recently I haven't seen any issues like that, so it's a, it's a win. Um, hopefully that means there's a, or a course correct there for that. But yeah, really nice looking figure. I love the way they uh, had the sort of holsters strapped to the legs like that, as opposed to sort of dangling from the belt. Really, really nice. Love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up too if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you all for another video very, very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.